Students as young as 11 years old will now be able to get contraceptives through their school in Denver, Colorado. The Bruce Randolph School is the first in the area to provide birth control, but some, some parents say the school is overstepping its role. Bob Enyard is with Colorado Right to Life, and Lori Castillas is from Colorado Youth Matter. Thank you both for joining us today. Bob, we're going to start with you. you. You were an administrator back at a school that did this. How did that turn out? Julia, this fails because it's wrong. Adam City High School, a Denver suburb, tried this. The pregnancy rate went up 40%, and the headlines nationwide were 108 babies born in one school year. It's a tragedy. God did not make 14-year-old girls to be used by boys. This is a mistake. But the fact is, in Denver, 41 and a half out of every 1,000 girls, 15 to 17, have babies. That's a pretty high number. The, the major reason for that is that our school curriculum today all over the country is officially godless. Kids are told that they're animals, that they've evolved from animals, and then we shouldn't be shocked when they behave like animals. We need to teach kids that they're special. Girls are worth waiting for. They're worth waiting until marriage. They're not there to be used by Lori, boys. And this policy... Real quick, go ahead. This policy... Okay, Lori, uh, I, want to get, I want to get your side. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about to cut you off. I do need to get to Lori, though. Um, Lori, you, a lot of folks say yeah. this basically gives kids the green light to have sex. What's your response to that? Um, well, first of all, parents were involved in making this decision. They um, asked for it. And also, these um, services aren't just provided to 11-year-olds, um, but also to um, older adolescents. And it's a, a menu of many um, programs that these clinics provide. Here's and, what, the, here's um, what the, the principal of the Bruce Randolph School says. The Bruce Randolph parents and community members overwhelmingly supported this effort. We feel strongly that along with programs focused on abstinence and healthy relationships, we are giving our children the skills and tools they need to get the education they need for a great future. So we hear both sides. We'd like to hear what you think. Just go ahead and email us. Jenna, uh, Bob, and Lori, thanks very much for joining us today. We appreciate it.